Alright YouTube, this be my last video with the microphone right there. <laughs> you're not going to hear me that well, but you know what? You're not going to hear that laptop crazy sound. The video may not be all that um crisp and all that because I have the new screen on my computer. You know, I kind of broke the other one, so I had to get a new screen. And I kind of see all kinds of static in it, so I assume it's going to be kind of crazy. Kind of look crazy right now, you know, because um, <sighs> a lot of things going on, you know. I'm trying to get myself organized, get it back, um, shave all this off. Guess what? Next week I get my teeth fixed. So this be the last. Like I said the last time I used this laptop to record myself. The last time the microphone. Last time just trying to hide <laughs> my teeth, you know. So um. Looking forward to that, you know. That way I, I can smile through all that stuff again. I ain't gotta hide it, you know, and just feel bad about myself. Other than that, that's the reason I also wanted to record, you know. Decided to see how the imaging looks on the laptop, the new one, uh, with the new screen. But I got some good stuff today. No, not no Pokemon stuff, you know. <laughs> I do collect that, you know. I've been uh, not getting too much this uh, month as well, but I do have some goodies, you know. But basically, I got my horror pack today. I couldn't believe it. I ain't getting no tracking for it yet or anything. I just got <laughs> the box. You know? It, it, in fact, I don't even think it's the 24th. It's the 22nd. Yeah, so usually 24th they ship these things out. So that's kind of crazy. So, with further ado, I'm just go ahead and get that started, you know? Because I do have some other things to show you, movies and game-wise, of what I got. first movie, I'm real glad I held off because I was going to actually buy it because it's dirt cheap right now. <laughs> but it's a great movie. Case 39. I think it's still maybe on Netflix. Go watch it. It's a great, great horror type movie, okay? You know, um, what's it? If, if you like the orphan and all that, you'll definitely love this too. <laughs> Uh, man, I almost bought like I said, it was like under five dollars or something. I almost bought it, you know. But here we got it here. I don't know if it came with a slip cover um, when it first dropped, but I can always go online and I know I find it dirt cheap, you know, because uh, there's so many of these movies out there, you know, it ain't worth that much right now. So I still highly recommend it. You know, regardless what the price is, it's still a great movie. And here's the slip cover they were um, talking about that was going to be included. We have. Anna and the Apocalypse. Another movie I held off from buying when it first dropped. Because I uh, assume, you know, you never know what horror pack may gobble up. May have to slip cover for. And uh, there's like a bunch of, what's that, RLJ type movies that I, I have held off from. Um, Shutter movies, you know, those type of movies I, I just held off, you know, because you never know. Um, it would suck to get a duplicate, but still, you know, that's, that's the reason I've held off quite a few movies. So, this looks really interesting, you know, I almost bought it, held off, I'm glad I did, because now I have it. Definitely look forward to watching that. And here's our horror pack, limited edition, called Screen Test. Yeah, the cover looks like one of those uh, B-horror type ones, you know, <laughs> one of those undergrounds. But don't judge a, a movie based off just the cover, okay? Everything is worth one watch at least. That way you can have your own opinions. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. So it's good to watch it yourself. Don't go off other people's opinions, thoughts, because everybody's different. Everybody have their own taste and likes. So this definitely looks really interesting. I really look forward to watching it. And now that I got my new TV, I'm going to start doing these reviews, okay? I, I don't have the new sound system, but... I'm tired of uh, holding off, you know, once I get my teeth fixed, we're going to get started. And then the last one, just like the one they put out before, we got another Resident Evil movie. We got Resident Evil Vendetta. And I'm kind of happy with that, you know, this looks pretty good here, you know. It's a two disc, excuse me, two disc special edition. So I definitely look forward to watching that. You know, I've seen it already on Netflix, but still, you know, um, to have it in your collection is fine. I think there's a 4K version of it um, that I, I held off, you know. Eventually, I was going for a good price to buy it. Either which way, 
I can add it to the collection because I don't have it. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with what I do have and been holding off to show off for today. Not really much in the game department. Some of the games I held off, you know, because I got to get those Pokemon cards. <laughs> we got uh, another Akiba Strip game, the newest one that came up. And if you can tell from the upper corner, it's a little damaged right there, a little pushed in, but that's okay. The rest of it is all right. And the reason it's like that, and also I love putting games, movies, in oversized envelopes. I hate it with a passion. There was a time they used to put a whole bunch of stuff in boxes, but now it seems like you got like a whole bunch of items or big items, you know, before they put it into boxes. And it sucks because if you're a collector, getting little dense things, things sucks. But I'm happy to get another uh, a, a version, you know, the newest one. I collect like that, you know, and I always love the boxes that they put out, you know, it's always unique and something different. This one I might have showed up already, I don't know, but we got uh, Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. I, I really feel the Alex Kidd games, the uh, uh, Genie type game, I can't think of her name right now, but um, I think it begins with an S. But I could like these type of games, you know, uh, Monster World. Scooped it up for that. And then we got the Void TRL and whatever. I++, the Void Games, this one came also for PS5, so I scooped it up because it wasn't that much, you know, I do have the, what, the PS4 version, so I don't know if this is the sequel or it's more content in it, but I just put it to add to the collection, basically, you know, it wasn't that much. We got World, excuse me, Worlds and Club, the cover look kind of uh, crazy, not really much going on. But still, I got the NIS um, online version. You know, they got all the goodies because some of the stuff they put on Amazon is like a lower version that maybe has like half the goodies. You know, it's a little bit cheaper, but still, I prefer having the full limited edition, collector's edition, whatever. You know? And then the big boy itself that came out, Monster Hunter Stories 2. Scoop that up. Got the little figure in there. I still need to look around because I couldn't get a hold of the other Monster Hunter Rise that had the figure. That thing just kept selling out so quickly. And they overpriced it now for like more than a uh, double, you know. So hopefully I can get another good copy of it, you know, for a little bit lesser, you know. I mean, they didn't have too many second waves or, you know, those who canceled out. It just had limited copies of the Rise and they were gone. But I did get the stories to one. And Amiibo Wise, I did get the Zelda and Lost Wing. I had scooped that up because there's a huge conspiracy about it. Like they putting all the good stuff in Amiibos, you know, and uh, not putting it in with the game itself. Even if you got like a deluxe version, whatever version. That kind of sucks what they're doing, but at the same time, this thing sold out, got back ordered. This, I think there's still people who got the order and waiting for back order to come through still right now. But I was one of those who got the first waves and got my pre order in. So I'll scoop that up. Okay, we wise. My vinegar syndrome still has not come in, so unfortunately, I can't show that off. But. I found this at a great price on uh, one of those eBay type sites. And we got the Dark Tower 4K steel book. Waterworld 4K steel book. More glossy, so that's just going to have fingerprints galore on it. And then we got Midway. I don't know if it had one of those little slips over it, but we got the other type of slip. And it's still good to have. I mean, basically, I got all this for $35. And if you know about the Best Buy still books and all that, that thing be pretty high. So just get three for $35, it's a pretty good deal. I 
all right. It's going to be like 4K and Blu-rays, but we got my Scott Pilgrim finally came in. Somehow I got a back order when I was going to the first pre-orders to put in. That kind of sucks. I like the standard version of the slipcover compared to the steel book. I ain't really feel the steel book. But I've got so many copies, of, uh, different versions of this movie, but I had to get on 4K because, you know, I'm a big fan of it. There's two cringy uh, parts in there that I don't like, but still, it's a good movie. I wish they dragged it out to be two, three movies from there. There was a lot of stuff to cram in one movie. So, it is a lot of stuff cut out and what they couldn't do, whatever, you know. So, but what they did do, I enjoyed it. We got G.I. Joe Retaliation. I had to scoop that up. It was a decent price. Uh, you know, for like uh, new releases, you know, anything that's under 20, I'll scoop up. But anything that's like 27, 30, 40 some dollars, I'll wait for a price drop. Then we got The Rise of Cobra. It also came out. And yes, you can tell a little top size, little bent in. Once again, it came with the, the game in an oversized envelope. So whatever was on it, it got a little crushed. Sucks, but it happened. And once again, one of my favorite collections, uh, Vestron Video, came back out with another two video, I mean movies to put out. This is the first one, the next one come out next month, that's The Wrath, and the other one's The Showdown. But if you know anything, they had a, a pretty good run, and so they stopped for like a whole year plus, then they dropped two movies, and then they can't, another year worth of waiting. Now another two movies, so hopefully we don't have to wait for another year for more stuff to come out. They said they got like uh, four more movies in plan. Let's hope they start releasing it not too long, okay? Because there's still quite a lot of good movies Best Drawn Video can put out. We got School Live, the movie. That's pretty awesome right there. Um, it was cheap, like $12, and next month. They got a, a sequel, you know, another movie. So I'm definitely going to scoop that up. It's dirt cheap. Why not? We got the Mark Brothers. I did uh, purchase this in the past before to get my stepdad, you know, but he passed away from COVID, you know, rest in peace. But I decided to give myself a copy because uh, when they had Prime Day, it was cheap. Why not? <laughs> and plus, when I was young, even so it's not my generation now on shows, they still had a heavy rotation that I grew up on it, you know. Three Stooges, Mark Brothers, you know, etc. Lower Harvey. And then we got the Mummy Ultimate Trilogy. This was also on a uh, prime deal of the day or whatever for dirt cheap. Why not? It's three movies, you know. And I thought real hard because they do have all three movies you can buy separately with the slip covers, but this one had all three and it just had it seemed to have more goodies with it so I decided to buy this you know maybe one day if I can find um, the other th uh, three you know for like maybe four or five dollars I'll scoop those up yeah, as long as I got slip covers we got Battle Beyond the Stars the steel book I scooped it up I did not get the <laughs> Figurine, I, I really didn't feel the figurine for it, and uh, I didn't get that the poster. I just bought it regular as Amazon, you know, it got cheaper on Amazon. That's what I did, kind of like, you know, like, now uh, Screen Factory got, you know, those Halloween 4K movies coming out for $37 or 39 I said, no, it's not worth it. And they dropped the price down to 27 on Amazon. Who cares about the posters? Who cares about the uh, vinyl? I don't. So I went with Amazon. That's, that's not a big, uh, no, uh, you know, it's a no brainer on that. Kind of like the Elvira movie they have. I decided to go with the standard on Amazon. It's cheaper. Um, I don't see the reason to buy the poster. You know, there was an extra $40, $45, you know, just for an autograph. Uh, I don't think it was worth that much for an autograph. So $75 for an autograph? No, nah, I'm okay on that. I went, got it off Amazon. I don't need a poster. <laughs> if it was really good, maybe I would have, but I, I didn't see a reason to. Got Howard the Duck. I went ahead and scooped it up. Got the standard, because I like the standard with the slipcover better than the 4K um, steel book they put out. 
House of Wax. I might have showed it off. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have, but I got House of Wax. Anything that's a collector's edition from Scream Factory, I'm going to scoop up. I'm, I'm definitely going to have it. Because if you don't, after like two, three months, that thing is going to skyrocket in price for the slip covers. Okay, um, look up, what's it, uh, Body Snatches. That's going for a pretty penny with the slip cover. House on Haunted Hill, also the same thing, you know. Then we got Brotherhood of the Wolf. I love this movie. I love this movie a lot, so I'm real happy that they made a collector's edition of it. Then we have Dead Zone. Another great movie. Happy to get a collector's edition that has a nice cover to it. And I got that like uh, over a week earlier, you know, so... That's how Screen Factory used to do their pre-orders. They used to get it like maybe two weeks ahead of the release date. And somehow they dropped their standard and you're just going ahead and get it on release date like everybody else. Or maybe a back order even so you pre-order it. So to even get it now a little bit earlier, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> you know, because like they, they used to have some nice standards and they kept to their standards. And sometimes they fall, sometimes they recover, sometimes they get better. The last thing I'm going to show off, I don't think I ever showed this, but I have the unofficial guide to Shin Megami, uh, Megami Tensei Persona. I love this series right here. Ever since the Super Nintendo, you know, even though we didn't get it here in the States, I've always been a fan, you know. And I uh, became a huge fan when it came to the PlayStation 1. A lot of people didn't know about it. The regular places only would get one or two copies. Um, mine had three copies, and then after like two weeks, they dropped down to only one. You know, so that's kind of crazy. But this is another fine book, reading material, something to add to my collection. I've always been a fan of the 101 uh, hardcore book series. So I got that to add with the wrestling one I have. So good reading, good stuff. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Leave some likes and comments. Please subscribe and always enjoy.